anyone else when you go to the cinema get popcorn and then for like yeah. the first <laughs> 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 Why do you think you're the only one who gets popcorn? Oh, Have you not seen other people go to the counter? Anyway. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some US snacks. Yeah, and this box is from Frank and Jim, who also recently sent us a box. This was all part of the same thing. But yeah. why is this different? Now, this is different because if you remember, the first box was all Trader Joe's themed. And if you don't remember, you can check it out. Up yeah, there. and we love Trader Joe's, so it just had to have its own video. Yeah. But today is super exciting because it's a real mixture of things, and I love it when we've got that. Yeah. So we've got some savory items. We've got some popcorn, some like jams and one of those liquid drinks. So I'm mm. really excited. So Frank and Jim, thank you so much for this wonderful box. We did send them a box of British candy back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you guys to support the channel. Okay, shall we crack into yeah, it? Yeah, let's get into it. Do you want to start with the two Snyders items? Yeah, why not? Right, so we've got two Snyders. Mm. Now at the time of sending, this is a new item. Oh, cool. So let us know down below if you've tried these yet. So Snyders are coming out with new stuff. That's yeah. good to hear. Rounds. And these are Snyder. Oh, filled pieces. And these are filled with real peanut butter, it says. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. And what are they? Just round pretzels? Just round pretzels. Mini pretzel balls. Ooh. Exciting. In sea salt flavour. Crunchy and nutty. All in one snack. Delicious Snyders of Hanover. Real peanut butter filled pretzel pizzas. Pieces are flavorful pretzel, perfectly filled with creamy peanut butter. The taste is pure perfection, easy to pop anytime, anywhere. Do you know what? We have tried not this brand, but we have tried things like yeah. this because we said about them being pillows. They were from Trader Joe's. Were they Trader I'm Joe's? Sure from oh, Trader were Joe's. they from Frank and Jim's box? Frank, maybe we're meant to compare them with these. <laughs> Probably. Um, this says rounds, have a ball with pretzels. Light and crispy Snyders of Hanover rounds are incredibly delicious, perfectly poppable pretzels. We bake each one to perfection to bring a fun new dimension to snack time. Do you know what's cool about these? They're round. Yeah, and I feel like if you are a real fan of pretzel and like snack mm. trails, mm. you could chuck some of these into some popcorn, get some M&Ms mm -hmm. in there. Like a snack mix, you're saying? Mm. Mm. Ooh, Ooh what really do you good. think to that? Yeah. Really nice, really nice bite-sized bits of pretzel. Because it's nice you get that full flavour of the mm -hmm. coating on the outside. I feel like you get a bit more flavour to mm. each bite compared to like just plain yeah, pretzels. The chunks. And also, don't they feel lighter really in your light. mouth? And sometimes they can be quite stodgy, can't they? Mm. I'm liking the rounds. Yeah, sometimes it, it gets like you've got a real clump of mm -hmm. pretzel mushed mm -hmm. in your mouth. Out of all the just plain sea salt ones, mm. I think this has been my favorite form. Yeah, this is really nice. Really good, mm. really, really good. I wonder if there's anything you could dip these in as well. That'd oh, really... well, so many people will have their own little recipes of snap mixes or coating those in chocolate mm. and wouldn't that be How good? Are you talking? Or like putting them into something. Yeah, I'd love them dipped in chocolate. Maybe some M&M's in there. Like in a there. Rice Krispie treat, mm. yeah. That'd be so good. Go on to your ones. Okay, yeah. Now I think these are gonna taste a lot more dry, yeah. but let's see what their peanut butter's like. Plenty of salt. Mm. Mm. Really dry, really good though. But I feel like the last ones we had were just dry. Mm. Whereas these have got salt. I don't know about you, but when I have salt, it almost creates more like saliva. Yeah. So I'm not finding that as dry. Oh, but the overall thing is like quite dry, mm. isn't it? Dry, salty, yummy. Great beer snack. Mm. Mm. I think I prefer those to what I remember of the Trader Joe's ones. Really? Mm -hmm. What about you? From what I remember, I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah, I think the peanut butter is a nice flavour. It's mm. a very dry peanut butter, but the salt and the amount of salt really helps it. Mm. Well done, Snyders. I do think Snyders are like some of the best out there, aren't they? Yeah. They that mean, and Dots. Great pretzels, yeah. Yeah, really great pretzels. I really want to try Dots again because it's been ages since we've had them. And I've got them like built up in my head. Like they're amazing, which I remember them being, but I'd love to try them again to get like a new level. Mm -hmm. So then when we try Could more pretzels. Could you imagine pretzels... after all of this, we try a Dot and we're like, oh. <laughs> well, imagine if they actually got taken over by someone and the recipe oh, got worse no. or something. <laughs> 
but they really were amazing when we tried them, mm. weren't they? Oh yeah, so good. But it would be really cool to have a Snyder's and a Dots next yeah. to each other and kind of see who we think's best. Yeah. I still think Snyder's Honey Mustard are probably the ultimate Snyder's treat. Yep, yep. Then I think the Balls and then the peanut butter. Mm. I think the, the honey mustard, and then there was another flavor there I, was another I flavor, really yeah. liked. And then, yeah, maybe the yeah. balls. Really, really good. Do you want to stick on nutty? Yeah, let's stay nutty. Okay, we've got two nuts, actually. Stay nutty, San Diego. We've got moncheros, which on the back, um, Frank has written Mexican peanuts. Mm. So does that mean they're actually from Mexico then? We had something called moncheros before. Mm, rings a bell. But not in this. No, I've never seen this Practical. bag. I'm really enjoying the colour. And then oh, this is called Emerald Jalapeno Cashews. Mm. I love cashews, so... And she loves jalapenos. <laughs> also. <sighs> I got my new Crocs on. <laughs> Let me know down below. Are you team Crocs? Mm -hmm. Or are you team not like Crocs? I have wanted a pair for so, so long and I finally just went for it because I think these are some of the nicest color Crocs I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, that is a really Aren't good. Aren't they lovely? Such a good color. I can't wait to get some gibbets. Gibbets? Gibbets, I think. Gibbets, is I that what so. they're called? But yeah, let me know down below. I um, love them. You could probably make your own if you've got a 3D printer. Yeah, you probably could. You could probably make your own. There's loads out there now, like Claire's accessories. Oh, I wonder if things. you go on something like um, Etsy. As someone who like 3D oh, prints like must, really cool ones yeah. or your own name. Yeah, or... there must be. But um, yeah, <laughs> I'm Team Croc. <laughs> Alex is, Alex, you love to hate, pretend that you hate them, I but secretly them. you love them. I said them. I'm going to get a pair. These are the first day I've worn them, yeah. actually. You start your by... feet sweaty? Yeah. No, they're fabulous. Really? Oh, because there's air holes all around. Yeah, but around. they are quite rubbery. Oh yeah, my feet dry as bone. <laughs> <laughs> Also, you start, everyone who gets them starts with, oh, I'm just going to wear them around the house. Yeah. I'm going to be at the shopping centre soon. I bet you were. I'm going to be in London. <laughs> Next time we go up to London, you go to a restaurant, you'll be there in the Crocs and they'll be like, sorry, madam, you no can't come crocs. in. No Crocs. <laughs> We've got a no Croc policy. <laughs> okay, right. Should we crack these open? Yes, let's. Now, these are crunchy peanuts. So, by the look of them, I think they've got a shell. shell. Mm, I love it when nuts have a shell. Yeah. Michelle, what are you doing down there? These are really good. These are really good. I don't know what the outside is, but it's delicious. I don't think there's any flavour apart from peanut. I is think there? there is. But maybe I'm just thinking I'm getting the vibe of a um, wasabi pea. Mm. But maybe though, what it's made of on the outside mm. has got a bit of flavour. I have no clue what it is, but it's really these are good. Absolutely delicious. And I think a peanut with one of these crunchy shells tops just normal peanuts. Mm. I think. Really nice. I wonder what it's made of though. I know. I'm trying to see what it says. It just says... Maybe it's kind of like a dough and then deep fried mm. or something. Because it's just like rice flour, wheat flour, mm. sugar. Just like a coating. Mm. I could dip these in my own wasabi. Yeah, you could. I wouldn't say um, take these to the cinema. No. I the can't people even buy it. Yeah. I can't even hear myself... Oh, I can't even talk. <laughs> I can't even hear myself think. The people behind you will hate you. Mm. Considering they are just peanuts, I, I was thinking, oh, I like them, but actually they are really, really nice, aren't they? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're so good, I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10. Are you? Yeah. Oh yeah, we haven't even scored anything. I'm not gonna give them a 10, I'll, I'll give them an eight though, but for a peanut for me, mm. it's very good. I think I'll give these a nine. These are seven, these are 10. I'm gonna give the rounds an eight, the peanuts just like a seven and then those in eight as well. My scores sound low, but that's because I'm not really a peanut. A dry, snacky, yeah, yeah person. Nutty, you're not very nutty, are no, you? No, I'm a nutty character, mm. but whoa. You're not all for you. Also, we've never, have we have seen emerald? No, I don't think so. These are some big, chunky. Mm. Jalapeno cashews. Mm. Mm. That gives them a really nice flavor, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like a nice savory peppery flavor it's, yeah it's a jalapeno that's not like kill your mouth mm. off that's a really nice just mellow didn't they almost feel like non-existent in a way mm. like the cashews are really um really soft and crumbly and light mm. sometimes really nice nuts cashews. are quite hard and stodgy and they're so light i wonder if they've been fried or anything or mm. cooked in some way these are really good also look it's one of the hanger ones do you mm. get those at like your gas station Let's hang out. Well, they do have them on hangers in the crisp aisle, don't yeah. they? That's good. Doesn't really say anything about the brand. I, I really like them. I thought that was a really nice jalapeno flavor, actually. Nice little bag of cashews. Mm. Well done, Emerald. 
Very good. Numbers. What are you giving those? I'm going to give them a nine out of ten. You know. Really? Yeah, I really like them. I really enjoy cashews, and that peppery jalapeno flavour just adds a bit more to it. It is it? like peppery, isn't mm. it? Not just jalapeno. Peppery mm. is in like you know black pepper. Yeah. I get that jalapenos are peppery. Yeah, it? but sometimes they can just be spicy. Yeah. It's like on nachos where you get a bit of the jalapeno flavour yeah. without actually eating yeah. one. Yeah. It's like touched it, mm. like the gherkin mm. in McDonald's. Yeah. You know. We've got a few items here that we're not going to try in this video. Should I show you now? Yeah. So. We have another Hidden Valley Ranch, which we need to make. We've got Vigo, which is classic coconut ginger rice. So mm. we should actually make that and yeah. give that a try. And then we've also got some um, McCormick Grill Mate, Hawaiian wood fire grill. Ooh, it's yum. like a marinade. Mm. And then we've got some Old El Paso. Now we have Old El Paso here, but it's funny how similar, but then also different mm. everything looks. So these are taco seasoning mixes. We've got original and hot and spicy. Hot Which and spicy. team are you? Um, original. We <laughs> get the Old El Paso um, like fajita mix and we get the barbecue and mm. it's so good. So we'll have to try those. Really good. Do you want to go popcorn next or kind of these coconut things? Let's go um, popcorn. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm glad you said that. Now, why do you keep moving that cozy? Well, because it kind of came with this, so I, I was going to discuss oh, this. Right. I don't know if it was just to protect one of the jams, but we oh, don't really cool. get these cozies no, here, do cozies. we? They're for like um, beer, aren't they? Keeping your, yeah, or your Pepsi. But is it also to hide that it's alcohol? I think it's mainly to keep it cool. Cool. You know, I... So your hand isn't like making it oh, warm. Oh, yeah. But then yeah, I probably you can, you know, disguise the fact you're drinking Drink alcohol. alcohol. I am so excited. We have had a couple Amish uh, popcorns before, mm. but I don't remember seeing Ladyfinger. Oh, hold on. Is that the type? Yes, because this is white. Holeless. And this is Ladyfinger. So one is sweet kettle corn and one is butter. The building's the same, isn't it? Yeah, it's the oh. same brand. So I don't know why the brand they say... will be Amish country. Right? Do you want to go sweet kettle corn or butter? Like, butter. Let's do butter. Yeah. Let's do butter. These look awesome, though, don't they? Yeah, really cool. What's it say? What's it say, boss? It says microwave popping instructions. Helpful hints. <gasps> Children should not prepare without adult supervision. After popping, shake bag before opening for even distribution of salt and flavour. Do not stop and restart microwave during popping. Do not reheat unpopped kernels or reuse bag. Shall I pop right. it in? Pop it in. Ah, oh, pop Pun them. intended. Yeah, pun intended. What's popping? What's popping, Larkin? What's popping and Larkin? These look like the tiniest popcorn. Really? Let's look at look. that. Lovely. The tiniest little, don't you think? They are small, aren't they? Like Maybe the... that's why they're called lady fingers or something. <coughs> oh my word. Okay, oh, UK. Is it slightly different? Put your gas mask on. Because it really is like smoky. These look like the cutest and the Butter. tiniest. Oh yeah, let's give it a good old shake. Make yeah. sure it's. That was the number one tip. Excited is an understatement. Yeah. I think buttered popcorn is one of my favourite popcorns, mm. and we don't get it here, do we? Just we? Don't know. Right, go on in. You getting a handful? These are so diddy, They're aren't they? They're really diddy. Mm. Oh my word. Does it taste like butter? Yeah. And do they feel different being that small? Yeah. What? Why is that so small? They're like, it's like really textured. That's why they're called fingers, isn't it? Because there's like loads of little bits sticking out all over the place. And each one's well, do like. Do we a... know this or are you making it up? I'm making it up. <laughs> but you've got to think, haven't you? This is like the smallest popcorn I've ever seen. Mm. Also, I looked it up. The Amish popcorn we had last was Farmer John's, J-O-N-S. Oh. Mm. Do you remember that time we had Oops. the kind of like commercial popcorn in a long bag? It was called like half popped or something and they were oh, tiny. Oh, they were tiny, mm. yeah. Well, this is really nice. I just can't get over how tiny this is. This is the smallest popcorn ever. It really is, isn't it's it? It's so delicious. Because it all merges together in there. Mm -hmm. It was hard to actually see how small it is. But when, when you, you bring actually it out, bite it, it's tiny. I can't get over this. So this is called butter, but it definitely, definitely has like salt in it mm. as well, doesn't it? It's lovely. Salty butter. Mm. Anyone else? When you go to the cinema, get popcorn. And then for like yeah. the first... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you're the only one who gets popcorn? <laughs> Have you not seen other people go to the counter? Anyway. <laughs> Can I just say as well, it's not like really buttery it's almost no. more salty than buttery well, yeah the the farmer john's was much more buttery yeah 
Sorry, carry on. Which is definitely more salty than mm. butter, but I love it. You said something about no one else eating popcorn, I think. I was just gonna say, do you ever get it? For some reason, I think it's yeah. popcorn, when you have to eat it with your hands. Do you find yourself, the first half of the bag or the tub or whatever, like really shoveling it in, and then you realize, oh, it's not going anywhere, like any fast, mm. you know. I can now take my time. Yeah. For the first half, I'm an animal. I'm an actual animal. And then I start feeling a bit sick and I kind of just like do a couple at a time. It's a much more enjoyable experience. Yeah. I don't know why. Just now then, I was like absolutely shoveling it in. Well, I don't know about speed, but definitely whenever I do get popcorn at the cinema, I find myself eating it. Whereas it, I think it's just like a habit because it's there and you can't resist it. You start, you're like the film hasn't even started yet. Like yeah. stop eating it. You're just eating so quickly. Mm. And it's like, I wouldn't like just sit at home and just like shovel <laughs> in just like Constantly. the whole film. Just yeah. like constant, constant, constant. <laughs> I think it kind of stems from like when we used to share popcorn mm. and you feel like oh, it's yeah. going, it's going. <laughs> Quick, get some before Kate has too much. Mm. What are mm. you giving this? It's not the best butter popcorn but it is good so mm. i'm gonna give it a nine mm. what is nice is it's fresh i like it when it's in a bag like this when it's fresh and it's warm so bonus points for that yeah i'll give it a nine as well only because the flavor is marked as butter mm. if that was marked as salty it'd probably get yeah. a 10. i probably really would want just a touch more butter like i'm licking a butter pot mm. Um, but the flavor is very delicious, very salty and very good. I can't get over how small they are, but how satisfying they still are. Mm. I feel like the last Amish pack we had were really white. Do you yeah, remember? Really pale. We had some really yeah. pale ones um, and really fluffy. Yeah. That is absolutely amazing. Love that. Were you going in for more? No, there was just one on the edge. I was oh, just right. gonna eat it because so, it was there. But. Yeah, I'm going nine. Hmm. Absolutely delicious. Well done, Amish count country. Although if you're gonna stop off at any Amish place, I would stop off at Farmer John's. Mm. If that's local to you. Mm. While you were gone? Well, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so wrong? I don't know. <laughs> while, while you were gone. Does your tongue feel a bit funny? No. Sometimes I get that after popcorn. Really? Mm. <laughs> Do you know who I felt like then going, mm, mm, mm. I don't know. Uh, Peralta from... Jake Peralta. Yeah. yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Brooklyn cool, Nine-Nine, cool. yeah. Right. Cool, cool, cool. I bought this over Do you know who I... I feel like? Who? Charles Ball. <laughs> you look like him too. <laughs> Charles Ball is one of my favourites. Yeah, okay, I bought this over because we have a drink and mm. I thought we might want to refresh ourselves. Yeah. This is a... Mayo. Mayo, I think. Or now, Mio. this is one of the ones that brand I'm talking about yeah. that we saw originally when we first went to America. Oh, really? Doing this? Yeah, I seem to remember. Uh, now, this is lemonade flavour. Nice. So, I thought we could try it with fizzy water. That's one of my favourite way to enjoy most of these squirty drinks. It's so delicious. You and think you're so original, don't you? With your, no. I'm I the only one who eats drinks, eats popcorn, and I like to enjoy my flavoured water with sparkling no. water. I mean, I bet so many people do. <laughs> but lemonade in America is very much still lemonade, but lemonade here is fizzy. Mm. Oh, it smells more like the still stuff, but. It smells more like um, sherbet hand cleaner. <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. Do you want to go for Are it? You sure, it's not. Um, one squeeze. That's all you need. Per eight fluid ounces. One squeeze is all it takes. Whoa. Whoa! That's like, um, you know, at the start of The Simpsons where he's carrying a... Meet The Simpsons. That is literally fluorescent. Fluorescent. It's phosphorescent. It's phosphorescent. What's that from? Wicked. Yeah, I'm just going to see it. She's phosphorescent. Now Alice is going for the a lot weaker approach. Cheers. Cheers. I think it's going to be plenty. Mm. Yeah, I can still taste that. Mmm, that's nice. Mm. That is actually very yummy and refreshing. Can you still taste it? Yeah. I'm glad I stopped there. That's what's really good with these like squirty ones is you can choose how strong you want them. Smelling that? Oh, Alex, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> they don't just have to be squirty for you to choose how much you want. And you can choose how much you want with a core deal as well. I know. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say. What are the ones where he can't choose? <laughs> a bottle. <laughs> He's come pre-made. Oh, you mean the pre-made? Yeah. The RTDs. That's what's nice about those, Ready yeah. to drinks. When we smelt that, 
I yeah. didn't think that was going to be good because it really did smell like a cleaning product, didn't it? Yeah. Like the floor or something. Yeah. But that is really nice. Yeah, really nice. Really, really good lemon flavor. Do you know flavor. what? My tongue is dry now. Is it this or is it the popcorn? I mean, it's the popcorn. Really? Like dry, isn't yeah. it? It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, but really strange. Lovely. Can we go before these spreads into these two things? Yeah. Now, these were actually in a pharmacy bag. Oh, that's cool. So and did you get these from called? your pharmacy? It's called... Oh, it doesn't. It just says... Ask your pharmacist about health needs and so much more. Obviously, anyone from Florida will know what pharmacy that is. It's like an R. Do you reckon that's Rite Aid? Oh, could be. Oh, Broadway Industries? No, I don't know makes the bag. Are these different? Yes. So one's original and one's Pina Colada. Oh, nice. Do you not think these are reminding you of things that we had from Guam? Yeah, a bit. And can you just take a video of this? Yes. Frank and Jim also sent a chapstick, which is the actual brand chapstick. Mm. And look, sweet watermelon. This is Ooh, so exciting. Nice. Oh my word! What? Anna. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've absolutely hacked it. Hacked it's, it. it's not eye sculpting. <laughs> Ice sculpting? What? You're sculp sculp Ice sculpting. <laughs> sculpting. Oh, the pause that you went into that. Like, mm, I thought the top was going to come really? off. You're, are you one of those people who, if I, if I had a lip balm, you'd dig your nail in? No, not my nail. I don't like getting my nail in. This is absolutely amazing. Mm, great Doesn't that smell. smell amazing? Yeah. That is absolutely amazing, and I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I, I have taken it upon myself to not buy another chapstick until I finished my current one. Current one. Yeah. And I've I've like never finished one, so I really want to finish it. Well, I didn't know there was another option, but again, you're great with all these different things what? that you come up with. Like what so do been, people just buy more before you get to the end well, of the Well often one? you end up losing it. And I well, the reason why so you're allowed to buy I've got one, two or? at the moment and the reason I have two is because the first one I lost and then but now found, I found. Yeah, because it was in one of your bags. Right, should we try this then? Yeah, this is not what I was expecting at no. all. Even though it's the exact picture. But on the photo, I thought it was just showing us it cut like in half cut or open. something. This actually says world famous. So mm. who knows about this? Creamy coconut with rich dark chocolatey coating by the brand Anastasia. Mm. Taste of paradise. It really is. No, we're not mm. usually into coconut things. This is actually mm. delicious. Mm. Wow. Now, if an almond joy tasted like that, mm. I'm really excited for the pina colada one now. Mm. Ready? What we say is it's the, the texture of the desiccated coconut we don't always like. Mm. Whereas this is more like a paste. It's like chewy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Mm. Like a bit sweeter and fruitier. Mm. Mm. Nice. Very nice. But I'm not sure if the original is just my favourite. Yeah, I think so. Just a bit more simple, isn't it? Hmm. It's like a bit too sweet. Maybe a little bit fake. Yeah, just a tiny bit mm. fake. Mm. So this bigger pack you get too. And it's dark chocolate and I enjoy it. It's really not bitter. Oh, it's really good, isn't it, actually? Hello, mate. So, no, Orlando, no, no, no. Florida, Al. Oh, that's where it's actually made. Mm -hmm. Actually, oh, it's cool. Orlando, Florida. Like it's it's coconut, that. Bob. Do you like coconut? Mm. Oh, this one's got a tray. Bob's just been out for a nice walk. Yes, he has. You lovely boy. Nothing for Bobsy. Nothing here for Bob, sorry. Nope, he doesn't even want to. Just say hello. Him. Say hello to Frank and Jim. Look, Frank and Jim. Look up there. Bob's had a bit of an eventful day. He's had an argument with Gus from down the road. <laughs> <laughs> with, the thinking, with the neighbour dog. With the neighbour dog. He's thinking he's all hard. He's going, yeah. <laughs> Although Bob looks like a teddy bear and the neighbour's dog looks like a trained assassin. <laughs> So, Have you got in your paws, Bob? We all know who was going to win. Yeah, <laughs> not Bob. It's sweet though because you see a little fluffy teddy boy, teddy bear boy going along the road thinking he can, you know, yeah. pick you a give fight it your with best the go, rest. don't you, Bob? But, oh my word, look at his paw just like that. Oh, Bob, you're so funny. Right, shall we see you later then, Bob? Bye, Bob. See you, Bob. See you later. Good boy. They could be some of the best coconut treats we've ever had. I actually think it's the best coconut mm. treat I've ever had. Compared to those Almond Joys, Bounty, whatever, this has hands down been the best coconut thing I've ever tasted. Yeah, definitely. Really, really good. I'm going original just slightly over Pina Colada, which is a shock because I really thought mm. this would go number one, but no wonder they're world famous. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Although we've never heard of them, no wonder they're world, mm -hmm. world famous. Absolutely delicious. I know about them now. 
and that's no wonder people like them. <laughs> Very good. I'm Very giving good. those a 10 out of 10. Well 10 done. 10. Well done. Well okay. done, Florida. Moving on, we have got two like jam jars here, which isn't that the cutest size ever? Mm. We'll have to keep these ones. We'll keep ones. <laughs> that's what we say about all of them. I know. We'll and just this keep one these here, ones. This is, um, was that Smuckers? Yeah. From possibly, yeah. Paula and Al? Oh, I thought these were going to be the same um, brand, but they're not. We've got Yoda's Fine Food and we've got Der Dutchman's. Oh, this one's Amish. I wonder if this is... Hot pepper jam. That sounds nice. Oh, and that's a red raspberry jalapeno, jalapeno jam. jam. So that's Amish. I don't mm. think this is. Der Dutchman. Amish kitchen cooking. And this is Yoda's Fine Foods. Division of Yoda's Cider, Cider Barn. Barn. So they must have some ciders as well. And where are they from, Kate? Ohio. Ohio. This is from Ohio. What's the um, postcode, zip code? 44681? 43022. Ah. But don't, they must get their jars from yeah. the same place. I'm sure they must be a standard size. Yeah. Should we crack them? Let's crack them. Could eat this till the uh, till March 23. They sound amazing, don't they? Wow. Ooh. You know we like Pepper Lane. Yep. You know we like Pepper Lane. Yeah. In some ways, that really smells like the Pepper Lane one, doesn't it? If, nice. This one does. I think it's this one you're talking about. It does. Right. What I've realised we need then is some toast. No crackers with. Um, oh, we. I did actually get crackers with um. Some butter. No. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's some thick jam. Oh, it is, isn't it? it really is thick. More like a spread. That's really nice. Mm. Wow. The Dutchman Amish Kitchen cooking hot pepper jam is delicious. I would say it's probably actually slightly spicier. I was going to say that. Than Pepper Lane. I think Pepper Lane's slightly sweeter. It's definitely spicier. Mm. It still has the sweetness of the mm. Pepper Lane, but the Pepper Lane is just all round more sweeter mm. and lighter and milder. Mm. It's not too hot for me though. No. And I think that's partly because you have it with cream cheese. It's getting really hot and I suppose you could probably just avoid those I spicy bits. I think partly because it's sweet as well. That balances it out quite well. All right, gonna give right. you one a go? Yes, it really is thick. It almost looks like, do you remember that time we had like the guava paste? Yeah, it's almost like a paste, isn't it? Oh. Wow, fascinating. Right, here we go. Mm. At first I was thinking, what were you going to say? At first I was afraid. I was first, petrified. At first I was like, are you sure that's going to go with cream cheese? But then I forgot so many people have like cream cheese with jam mm. or like bagels for breakfast and things. Yeah. Bob is just sat there. I just can't deal with how cute so he is. You are so lovely. Mm. Ooh. This that's is spicy. hotter. Yeah. That's really spicy. I just want to try a little bit on its own. It's interesting because this is like a thing we don't really have. No. It's jam with peppers. Whereas this is literally raspberry jam, mm. but it's got jalapenos in, so it's kind of spicy. And I think the combination is fantastic. Mm. Take away the jalapeno. I think that raspberry is really, really, really nice. lovely. That's a lovely raspberry. Light, fruity, sweet, refreshing. You know, sometimes raspberries can be really bitter or like a jam can be really, really sugary. Yeah. That's a really lovely, yeah. just mellow raspberry. The jalapeno is delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it is spicy, so if you're not mm. a fan of spice, you might not be able to hack it, but it is really good and I would definitely recommend. That is incredible. Mm. This is insane. Love this so much. That you can have on your toast in the morning. I think yeah. it'd be great, wouldn't yeah, it, for on breakfast toast. or as a snack. Yeah, really, really good. Or this any time of the day. Do you know what I've just thought? Because that's jalapeno, has mm. anyone had a PB and J sandwich? but with something like this with jalapeno, because so many of you have said that you'd put like pickles on things yeah. like that. That's like jalapeno. Pickles on a PB and J I sandwich. I think I heard someone say that. Don't quote me. Maybe That's it was disgusting. on the side, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. This I'm giving- What's that thing on? That's disgusting. disgusting. About the girls. Yeah. It was one of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. This is incredible. Mm. I'm giving this like, 20 out of 10. Yeah. I can't remember what I gave Pepper Lane Jam, but I'm, I think they're both just as good. I think Pepper Lane just notching above because it's got Pepper loads Lane. of bits in mm. it and I really enjoy those. <laughs> Wait, no, I mean, <laughs> 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 
Loads of bits in it. Got loads of bits in it. Yeah, maybe this is 12 out of 10 and Pepper Lane is 20. 20. Yeah. That is very, very, very good. You really really good. enjoyed that. Okay, and last but not least, we have a tiny teddy. Tiny teddy. That's sweet, isn't it? I wonder what the thing is in America with having honey in a bear. Yeah, we don't get that here, do we? No. Maybe and if we were to get them, it would definitely be an American is brand. Is it just a particular brand that does it? I don't know. Because we've I don't had think it before. So. Remember when we went to America one time, we bought the honey in a bear? What, did we? Remember, for breakfast. Well, why don't we it's have it? It's when you're making here? pancakes or something. No, it wasn't me. Or was it Holly then? No, I don't think so. I swear we got it one time. No, I don't think so. Or is it for a recipe? Maybe it's for it a recipe, made? but I feel like we would have kept it. We do not get honey in a bear over here. And I don't think it is brand specific because I'm pretty sure I've it's seen like lots of a thing of for brands. kids? Oh, look at the way that just went back up. I don't know, unless it's to entice them rather than golden syrup. Mm. Now, I never was a fan of honey, but I have recently got more into it. This is Florida orange. Mm -hmm. Florida orange juice is like meant to be the best, isn't yeah. it? Honey. Florida orange blossom honey. This bear is the cutest thing ever. Is it good? Yeah, really good. That Thank really like fresh tasting Can you honey. taste the orange? Not really. I didn't know at the time, but it, I didn't particularly think, oh. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not necessarily getting orange, but you know the word blossom? Mm. It tastes floral. You know how like elderflowers florally? Yeah. That's what I'm getting. McCoy's. So this is from the Sunny South Apiaries. Apiaries. Apiaries in Locks Hatchy, Florida. Yeah. That sounds amazing. That's really, really good. Really good. I really like that. What you were saying about it being floral with the blossom is what I was meaning about it being like really fresh. Cause you know, you can yeah. get that like com kind of commercial honey. That's like really just like smooth and sweet. Yeah. That had like a real, like you say, floral. floral. Like, kind of you quality. know, the rose petal, that yeah. sort of thing. Ah, oh, we're done. We're done. That was absolutely delicious. Thank you, Frank and Jim. That was amazing. Yeah. A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Okay, go on now. I'm gonna have to say, oh. <gasps> Sorry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. COVID second jab. Oh. <laughs> Ali's had his COVID second jab yesterday. <laughs> Does that remind you of back in the school yeah, PCG? Yeah, PCG, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to say my treat of the week is this Der Dutchman Amish kitchen cooking hot pepper jam. It's absolutely sensational. And although I like all of this other stuff, this is just beyond. I would have to agree. I've enjoyed everything else, but this just tops it, doesn't mm. it? And I think it's safe to say that every single Amish item we have had, yeah. we've loved. Yeah. So, it's been really good well, done, well done, Team Amish. Amish. Oh, do you know what I just thought? I reckon you could. You definitely can. I just don't know if it would go. Surely it would. Mm. Yeah, I think that works. I definitely think the best way, if you've never tried like a pepper jelly, is the cream cheese or Ritz cracker Ritz. if you can get yeah. it. But those plain crackers were fine, mm. weren't they? Anyway, Frank and Jim, thank you so much for that amazing box. That was absolutely delicious, wasn't yeah. it? We did send Frank and Jim a box of British candy back to enjoy. If anyone would like to try some, I'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you guys to support the channel. There is also this new feature on YouTube. I don't know if you know, if you don't want to get a candy box, but you do want to say thanks for all the awesome videos we put out, there's a little thanks button down below. Yeah. It's kind of like next to the like and the share. And then it says thanks. And you kind of, it's almost like a tip. And yeah, you just it's like say, a tip in a restaurant. You just, and you get like a comment and you get like this cool animation that's like, thanks for being awesome. I think that's really cool. Yeah, such a cool new feature from YouTube. So thanks us. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.